Kori hie a ko manu topa topa ki runga ki te rangi tā kiri mai ana te atai runga i te toi huere wonga ariki. Ka tii a ria ria ka tuare huma te rua i te anga anga ka pua tai rangi ka o te atu hara mai te to ki a haumi e. Hui e tai ki e. E ngā mana e ngā reo, rauranga tira mā, e te pirimia, ko tau e ngā minita, ngā mema paremata, e te koromatua o tira ko tau kua tā mai, te nā ko tau, te nā ko tau, ki ora hui hui mai rātā tau katoa. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, distinguished guests, Fano friends, the community of Christchurch, and of course the Right Honourable Prime Minister John Key, uh, the Honourable Jerry Brownlee, MPs, Nuk Korako, and also who worship the Mayor. Uh, thank you all very much for being here today on this beautiful day in Otautahi in Christchurch, at this historic site on this auspicious occasion. So welcome, welcome, thrice welcome. My name is Julian Wilcox, I'm the uh, General Manager of Group Communications for Tirunanga o Ngaitahu, and it's great to have you here today with us again on this auspicious day. Before we begin the official proceedings uh, and the official announcements, can I just point out to you some points of interest for you? Obviously, public conveniences um, at the back over there. We do have a lot of media here today, and it's great to see you all here covering this event as well. Uh, and of course, we will, it will be a brief hui, but it would also be a great hui. So again, welcome, welcome to this occasion. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to make welcome the Prime Minister, the Right Honourable John Key, uh, to make the announcement today and to kick off our kōrero, our kupu, and of course our gathering. Nō reira, e te pirimia, te Kia ora tātou, rauranga tira mā, tini aki mihi mō te kā wanatanga nā henera, kia ora hui hui tātou katoa. Uh, Leanne, can I just acknowledge you again, and uh, Jerry and Nook, it's great to see you. Uh, so Mark, I uh, just want to acknowledge your presence, uh, and uh, all the members of Ngātahu are here today. So um, we're here on a site that's going to look very different in about two years' time. Uh, as the old police uh, headquarters goes here in Christchurch and is replaced obviously by the beautiful uh, buildings you see uh, depicted to my right. So uh, normally as Prime Minister it's, it's kind of cool, you get asked to do things and um, you know there are those really neat jobs just sort of turn up and you never have to sort of put in a bid or an application or ask for things that just naturally happens. But uh, Mark, you've obviously been remiss in failing to ask me to be the person who's going to blow up the old building. And so uh, just let me know when it, uh, when it suits both of our schedules to be the person who, you know, I understand they're going to dynamite it, so I can't think of anything more spectacular than bringing down the old uh, the old police headquarters. They won't tell you either. Okay, well, there you go. We're well, both in the dark on that one. But um, I remember when the police headquarters went up, it was, uh, I actually used to think it was quite a flash looking building, but uh, it's time has sort of come and gone. And uh, you're now going to have what will be the home to at least three government departments here. I think it's the fourth building that we've got in the CBD that will be housing uh, thousands and thousands of civil servants. And really the aim of that is to bring people back to the city uh, and uh, those, I think, three and a half thousand civil servants from Housing New Zealand and Health and other uh, ministries that will be around the CBD will provide uh, the nucleus, I think, of an uh, already big workforce in the CBD that supports in itself all the cafes and restaurants and gyms and other things that happen and bring back that vibrancy back to the uh, Christchurch CBD. So uh, I think it's, uh, it's a great move from our perspective. Uh, for Naitahu, this will be the home of, uh, Mark was saying, I think 85 million, or Tony was saying 85 million plus the land, so 100 million plus dollars of investment. So it's a, it's a serious statement about how significant they treat uh, the Christchurch CBD and how they want to see it developing. Uh, I've been uh, in Christchurch all day today, so uh, some of you have been uh, following me around to bits and pieces of things I've been doing, but we started at Tate Electronics in its new building, we went to the uh, uh, turning the first sod of what's going to be the over overbridge and uh, and basically a um, piece of uh, highway that you've got connecting out there at the airport at Harewood. And then we've been at uh, Steve Collins's building uh, next door and now we're here. So we've got two things that have completed and two things that are starting. So it uh, probably speaks volumes about what's happening in Christchurch. Some things uh, have got to the finishing line and are great signs of how uh, the city is making tremendous progress and doing well. And some things are at the start line, uh, looking forward to getting towards the end. And uh, But whatever, whatever you think and whatever you see, uh, one thing we do know is that there's tremendous progress happening here. So uh, just just want to wish you all uh, the very best. Naitahu is obviously a, a huge um, 
both investor uh, and uh, these days pretty big employer actually in Christchurch. The government has a very strong working relationship with them and one of the things I think that's been the real success story out of the tragedy of the Christchurch earthquakes has been the capacity to work with Naitahu and CPIT and others uh, for some of the things we're doing later on this afternoon which is just more of the Maori trades training, uh, making sure that you see youngsters who get an opportunity to go off to CPIT, great institution that it is, and then uh, pouring out of uh, there into the jobs and uh, apprenticeships that are available as a result of the rebuild. So it's a great thing. It's people that will be getting skills and jobs for a lifetime. And uh, frankly, it's probably a lifetime worth of work in Christchurch by the time you get to completion. I don't know whether there's ever completion of a city anyway, but uh, there's always constantly things going on. But uh, this is going to be a wonderful addition to this whole strip along here on the uh, Avon River. It's really going to look magnificent, give it a, another year or two. So um, well done. Thanks for having me here and uh, look forward to being back for the uh, explosion ceremony, uh, Mark. And then, uh, of course, from the ribbon cutting, because uh, as you said to Tony, if he doesn't get it completed, or Tony said to me, if he doesn't get it completed by 2017, he's gone burger. So um, no pressure, but he wants to keep his job, so he, he better make sure it's uh, completed on time. Anyway, thanks very much. Just, just writing down your name, Prime Minister, for the implosion. So, right honourable John Key, got it there. Okay, at the Pirima Tenagwe. Thank you for those words uh, as well. Uh, ladies and gentlemen in Māori, uh, it is not tika, it is not right for one to greet their own, especially if it's a tribal member. Uh, thankfully, I'm Ngāpuhi and I'm also a Hurricanes fan. So, it's fine for me uh, to introduce our next speaker. He is, of course, the Kaifakahaere of Turunanga Ongaitahu, Te Hunga Pupuri, Te Māori. O tēnei whenua, the mana whenua of o tautahi and indeed throughout a lot of the South Island. Please make welcome the kaifakahaere of te runanga o Ngaitahu, tā Mark Solomon. E tā te nāu. E te whiramia, te nā koe. Jerry, Nook, Mealy and Dalziel, distinguished guests. Well, Tony, you've heard the challenge. He's only the Prime Minister of the land. I'm your employer. <laughs> Who gets to push the button? <laughs> but in the spirit of collaboration, we could do it together. <laughs> Thank you. As I stand on this site today, I find myself thinking of the rich history it has enjoyed, both Māori and Pākehā, and I'm excited that Naito was taking the step in the development of this place. Thank you, Prime Minister, for your acknowledgement of the importance of the Christchurch rebuild. It's been more than four years since the earthquakes, and I think we are all pleased and excited about the many new buildings rising from the ground around the city. For our part, Naitahu is excited by this opportunity to partner with the Crown in the continuing recovery of the central city. If I think back 18 years to the signing of the Naitahu Deed of Settlement in 1997, I am reminded of the Crown's undertaking on behalf of all New Zealanders to begin the process of healing and to enter into a new age of cooperation with Naitahu. Here, as we begin to develop the first building on the site for the Ministry of Education, we have a living example of that new age of cooperation. Naitahu and the Naitahu property take our relationship with the Crown very seriously, and I've always believed that when people work together, they achieve together, often far beyond the expectations that either party had individually. Nowhere is that more evident than in Christchurch today in the aftermath of the Christchurch earthquakes and within the current rebuild. Out of disaster, many exciting partnerships have been forged and I'm continually heartened by the strength of the human spirit and what we can achieve when we brainstorm together and work towards a common goal, in this case, the rebirth of Ōtautahi. I believe in this city and in the place of Naitahu within this region and to have the opportunity to be involved in the city rebuild is incredibly exciting. As I mentioned earlier, the first building on this site will be tenanted by, the, by a number of Crown agencies, including the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Health. This is a good fit for us, a natural synergy because Naitahu places both health and education high on its list of priorities. Both are critical to us as we work towards the betterment of our people. We also have a deep and enduring commitment to Ōtautahi Christchurch and to Te Waipunumu and collaborating with the Crown to develop this site allows us 
to utilise Ngātahu property expertise and financial capability in a true partnership manner to deliver a solution to the Crown that also reinforces our joint commitment to sustainability, sustainability standards. Ngātahu purchased this site in 1995 and we have a strong attachment to this place, to this whenua. As we all know, the site was home to the former King Edward Barracks, which played a key role in our local history. But even earlier, it sat on the edge of the traditional Puari Pā, a nearby Urupā and the important Mahinga Kai of the Otakaro, the Avon River. Puari Pā was first established by the Waitaha people over 700 years ago, on a large island-like area between what is now Carlton Mill Corner and a loop in the Avon River near the old King Edward Barracks. There were further successive waves of our people. In the 1500s, Ngāti Māmoi settled at Puari before spreading further south, and in the 1700s, Ngaitahu moved into the area. Once Kaiapoi Pā was established by Ngai Tuahuriri Tuahuri Chief Tūrāko Tahi, Puari became an important trading post and Mahinga Kai area. We intend to acknowledge all these historical threads in this new development. We will recognise and celebrate both Māori and Pākehā histories, particularly the King Edward Barracks and its relationship to our nation's military exploits and the long-standing association that the police have with this site since the establishment of their first station here in the 1800s. This will be a place for the people of Christchurch and storyboards placed in a new landscaped piazza will reflect our joint histories. Getting pretty up smart at there, Tony. A plaque and foundation stones retrieved from the King Edward Barracks will celebrate the military history of the site and native plantings and traditional design set into paving will reference Ngaitahu history. And overall, the Ngaitahu walkway will be the key linkage, taking people from the Bridge of Remembrance through the site to the central piazza, on through the civic building and beyond to the arts and cultural precinct. I think it's fair to say that Ngaitahu has already played a significant part in the residential development of our city. Now we are moving ahead to further participate in the commercial rebuild. Ngaitahu property puts a strong emphasis on sustainability, which means our buildings are designed, built and operated to benefit multiple generations and to have a low impact on the environment. To that end, the two new commercial buildings on this site will be Green Star rated and both will be part of an on-site district energy scheme, which is all about the efficient use of our energy resources. This is our way forward, and it's another positive step towards the established collaborative relationship we now share with the Crown. Most of all, though, it's another positive step forward for Christchurch and its people, and I, for one, am delighted to be part of building something strong and sustainable for our future generations. Mo tātou, a mo kauri, a muriaki nei. Tēnā koutou.